Last time the mammoth migration started. In this program they will arrive at their destination. But the journey wasn't as easy as thought. The rampaging matriarch is not leaving the dire wolves dead. They mourn the calf's injury as it will slower the migration. One call from the matriarch and the migration continues. Now at night, they're near a ravine which could be dangerous, especially now when there's two Smilodon Fatalis waiting for their opportunity. The panic flows through the herd like a wave. One of them falls in, and she doesn't stand a chance with broken legs. One week later, the matriarch, her two sisters and the mother with her calf have split up from the rest of the herd. They are now in the Netherlands. Two other female mammoths join this group for company, as the bigger the group the more defense they have. They greet each other to increase their new bonds. After the death of one of the new mammoths, the last one from that duo had been carrying offspring. A big problem occurred. It is too weak as it was born too early. The new mother doesn't realize how weak it is. The new mother leaves her calf and searches for healthy grasses. From nowhere, a lion jumps and swipes the calf having a lucky escape. The youngster is unconscious and doesn't respond to anything.
It's hopeless. The calf won't make it. The calf is unable to respond or move. The calf is dead. Another week and the group has made it to Germany, just 9 km away from the Valleys of the Alps. And this large titan is known as the Cave Bear. This is the first time, this male sees mammoths. Male cave bears are much bigger than females in size. The cave bear was most likely vegetarian, and were actually preyed on the lion. We saw a moment ago, cave, lions. And just as you thought you'd see, a cave lion sneaks into the cave without a noise. The bear, who is sleeping doesn't notice a thing. The bear wakes up hearing such a terrifying growl and now a clash begins. No, the lions hunted bear cubs but were perhaps, always, killed by the adults. Three days later the group is finally walking the last one kilometer. And just wow! The rest of the herd caught up with the group. What a remarkable Ruinon! Last call to start moving has been released from the matriarch. The terrain is getting steeper by each step means they are very close.
Their large coats have been shagged off. Now they wear their summer coat. Once again, spring is in a few days. Let's see what these Megaloceros also known as the Irish Elk are up to. These two males are fighting over two females. Winner keeps them both. The special thing about Megaloceros is that they have antlers the size of a person. It's a wonder how they can lift their heads up. Both were young males that's why their antlers weren't so big at all but one of them wins with the other one fleeing. One of the females, sense danger close and calls out to alert the others. It was a group of humans. But without spears they cannot injure the elves. One of them, a female were watching, goes to attack and to free themselves from danger. and she managed to injure a couple of them, so the hunt was a fail and the elks can calm down. They have arrived, at the valleys of the Alps. They spot two woolly rhinoceros grazing on the deformed landscape. The mammoths quickly run to the stream to play in it, while feeding and drinking after a long journey from North America to Europe. The calf is having some major troubles walking in the stream. The mammoths want to let everyone in their surrounding know, that they are here. The rhinos are still a threat so they keep them away.
they get happier and keep moving to the valleys. They have eyes are blurry and they don't spot the coming waterfall. Thank you.